Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. This tutorial is about uh, 3D sketching. The 3D sketching is available under the surfacing menu. Just click this button to expand and then you select 3D sketch. You get the control dialog which will help you to do your drawings. In general the 3D sketch is just a um, set of lines, these plans on the object or not on the object. For this reason we have a mode which is called snap mode. By default it's set to on. But let's turn this off for now and I'll just place the object here. The way you create a new curve is make sure you have selected the add new curve option. Then you start clicking on the screen to define your point where the curve will go through. When you're happy you just right click and select finish or you can remove last and place it on a different position. The other way of finishing drawing is just by double clicking. As you can see now this is uh, a spline we can, you can manipulate and you can select the modify option. The way we manipulate the curve is by selecting its control points, clicking on it, and as you can see, there is something which is we call manipulator. The manipulator has uh, three options. One is the local, which means that it will take the tangent at this point, and this will be the uh, the blue arrow that will track the curve along this tangent direction. Let's select the end point, and I will just drag. In this case, the, um, the other two arrows are not really properly defined, so we cannot say how they are oriented. It's mostly about this blue arrow that you can use. The other option is the world coordinate system. As you can see, the directions are aligned in space and you can drag. The third option is to be on the screen, so whatever you do, you can just uh, get these arrows oriented as the current view. Also, there is a drunk strength option, which allows you really fine to adjust your positions of the point. So let's play a little bit with the world coordinate system. I can just select multiple points and I can drag and locate them in space. In order to create a new curve, you just select the new add curve. And if you start, you see the control points are highlighted, which means that this is a point where they can meet. Double click to finish. And this is how you reconstruct your curves. I will just delete everything now. Press the delete key. And we'll put this into the front view. Now we have the option which is called the snap mode. The difference is that in this case, when you create your curves, they will just pick points from the reference mesh, which gives a big added value. So let's try to create a single spline here, just clicking on the mesh and I just double click. As you can see, now it belongs and the points are snapped to the mesh. I can carry on and will create my second curve. Now the problem in our software is that we cannot supply tangency control between these two curves. I will just delete the, this curve, pressing the delete key, and we'll create a new one which is next to the my original curve. For this uh, reason, we have something which is called the blend curve. The blend curve is a special curve that it connects to independent curves. What you can see, it just connects a um, tangent curve that uh, it's, um, has a tangency continuity with the first one and the second one. If I go to modify option, I can actually change the bending of, of this radius. I can just adjust this end point and the blend curve is always connected to my original curve and in this way I can create a nice and smooth transition between one curve to another. As you learn now how to create these basic curves, what else you can do is just press export and you can export this into the IGES file format to other packages for further use. Also, there are some other options that will help you to work with uh, uh, creating the 3D sketch. It's how the mesh is uh, visualized. You can 
select the mesh to be transparent, which in some cases it can work well, or you can put the mesh slightly behind the curve so you can get a better, you don't get this go through mesh uh, effect. In this case, I can just put it slightly. It's really up to you how to use this option. There is another option which is called tolerance display, and we use it quite often in many cases just to get um, a control of your quality of the curves you create. For example, in this case, I will just put it into 0.5 millimeters and I will just press OK. As you can see now, my curve is not as close as I want to the mesh, so you have an option here, for example, to double click to insert another a control point, then you can manipulate and you can adjust your position or you probably want to insert more control points in order to get within the given accuracy. So at any point you can just switch this off and remove your um, tolerance control. Another option for the tolerance control is what is called pass and fail option. This would mean that it will color the curve in green if it is intolerant and everything else will be in red. So you can instantly see what is out of the tolerance and you can adjust your curvature and positioning in space in order to achieve your tolerances. Let's uh, continue now and create something more which is like a grid. I will just delete my blend curve for now and we'll just uh, connect these two points even if they don't have any continuity. I will quickly create um, a new lines here. You can do this with uh, double clicking and I will create something which is uh, like a grid. I will just click here. Now what my problem is, I've got to modify mode, is that I want to get this and make it a single uh, curve instead of two, three curves. I will use control and will select all these curves. And then from the more commands menu, I will select something which is called join curves. What software will do, it will just take all the curves and will merge them into a single one. Another option that you may want to do is, if I have a curve, for example, here in the middle, in some cases you may want to, what we call, break the curve. I will just use the modify. I select the point, which is my uh, point on the curve, and then I'll select break. What it will do, as you see, it will create the two curves. So there are some cases that you can use this and for example I'll do this again and we'll join the curves. There are options also when you work to select a curve and you can right click and use something which is called build curve. You have an option to create uh, more control points or less control points and as you can see the software reconstructed the curve with more control points and there was an option to snap everything back to the mesh. So in such a way you can just create a different um, curves, you can even more create with a less control point, for example four points that will uh, create these curves. So this is really useful if you want to give uh, more experimenting and uh, get a better quality of the curves. And the last thing I want to speak about in the 3D sketch is what we call the um, intra points. If I get a point, um, curve here, as you can see, it uses only four control points and they don't snap to the um, surface. But what we can do is something, if I right click, which is called fit on surface command. What happens in this case is that software automatically creates an uh, internal point and it snaps them onto the, onto the mesh. This is useful when you have uh, organic shapes to just to make sure that the curve gets into the tolerance. If you want to remove these internal points, you can just right click and say don't fit this on the surface. In this case, the only control points that are used to define the, the curve are the main um, points that you see on the screen. When we create um, something which I call a curve network, something like this one, I will just quickly reconstruct. You may want to do something like this. When I manipulate, it's a kind of weird that it's, uh, I have some additional points that I don't want to have them 
in my sketch because I have my main points which are on the corners and for this reason I want quickly to delete them I can probably just select and delete but one quick option is what is called delete internal points internal points are all the points that are not uh, meeting any other um, points with the different curves so if I press yes as you see the software left only these points and it will make sometimes the uh, modeling a bit more controllable for example here and then I can just add this um, curve which is uh, here and in such a way you can do a curve network that is much more suitable and much nicer and easier to control. So more or less this is all about uh, 3D sketching. Uh, let me go in through. Uh, if you have uh, visible cylinders, for example, for some reason I have worked on an object that creates a lot of uh, has a lot of cylinders, you can quickly just extract the, um, the center lines of the cylinders and you can use uh, blend curves to recreate the pipes, for example. The 3D sketch is um, useful for exporting into other applications, but also you can use it if you want to create a waft or sweep surface or even pipe. I will, will explain these um, other um, functions in their dedicated tutorials. I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.